Are you going to pay for those? <laughs> Are you going to pay for that? <laughs> You're going to have to pay six to get that once. Hello, my fair citizens. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City. And today we have our very first one ring deck. And I think it's quite a bit different than all the other ones that you've seen people play in the past. But... I haven't really seen all of them, so you could be the judge of that. Let me know in the comment section below. This particular deck does not really revolve around the protection from everything behind it. Like a lot of people end up using it by casting it, bouncing it, casting it, bouncing it, casting it. But we're not making a trampoline out of the one ring because it's metal. Nobody really wants to do that. It's not super comfortable and it's not fun at all. Really what we're using it for is all of the card draw. The One Ring is a 4-mana artifact with Indestructible, so it's really, really hard to get rid of. But when it enters the battlefield, you do get protection from everything, which is really nice because who doesn't love protection from everything? It's almost like a mini fog, I guess, so you just don't have to really worry about getting attacked. Unless, of course, they have like a Stomp or a Questing Beast or something like that, but that's semantics. We also have cards like Tefri's Protection for three mana that just phase us out completely, phase out all of our permanents, so we literally cannot be touched by anything just because we want to be that degenerate. At the beginning of our upkeep, we have to lose one life for each bird encounter on it. Now, it has the ability of tapping it to add a bird encounter on it and then drawing a card for each bird encounter on it. And this is how we're going to get so much card draw from it. We have to essentially just wait out the turns, go draw pass, draw pass, draw pass, draw pass. However, we're drawing a ton and passing, drawing a ton and passing. Then we got a tons of removal and blah, 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 right? So we just want to draw a whole bunch of cards every single turn so that we have every answer to every possible thing that the opponent could do. The damage from this ring will start to hurt because obviously every single turn we're taking one more damage. So in order to offset this damage, this is where Ivory Tower comes in. Ivory Tower is a one mana artifact that heals us for however many cards that are in our hand at the beginning of our upkeep, minus four. So what we want to do exactly is that we want to put a stop on our upkeep. And then once our upkeep starts, we want to hit full control by pressing that little control key on the keyboard, right? And then we want to make sure that the ivory tower trigger is in the front and the one ring trigger is in the back. What that will allow us to do is that we'll have ivory tower up on the screen saying, hey, you're going to gain life based on how many cards are in your hand, minus four. But in response, we're going to tap the one ring, add a counter to it, and draw a bunch of cards. So in this example, we're just going to draw five cards, which... Obviously, if you add five cards to it, we have five more cards in our hand. Ivory Tower is going to gain us five more life. This is exactly what we want to do. This is the ideal way to gain the most amount of life and get the most amount of cards. It's the biggest bang for your buck, but you have to do it in this specific order in order to uh, try not to kill yourself because there are ways to order it improperly and you can definitely mess yourself up and lose yourself the game. I only know this because it's happened to me a couple times. Don't ask. Just if you do it, do it this exact way. Just do it this exact way. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. All right. So you're going to gain the life from the ivory tower. And then you're going to lose the five HP from the one ring trigger. Now, of course, we have other methods of card draw because it would be really inefficient if that was the only thing we had since it's a legendary artifact. But our main win condition is Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Now, I don't really know why I like playing this Planeswalker because I don't think he's good at all in any way, shape, or form. But I also think that's kind of why I like playing with him because I think it's just that much more annoying to lose against that kind of Planeswalker. You're losing against a Planeswalker where they have to mill themselves because everyone hates losing against mill. But 
milling yourself, no counter spells. It's it's so frustrating. It's got to be infuriating. And I think that's why I like it so much because, you know, it's Sodium City. That's what we do here. So Jace is a four mana, four loyalty planeswalker with the passive that if you were to draw a card when you have no cards in your library, you win the game. This is how we're going to win the game. And this is why we have so much card draw. So Jace's plus one ability targets a player and has them mill them for two and then has us draw a card. His minus eight ability, the ultimate, if you want to call it that, just draws us seven cards. And then if we have no cards in our library, we win the game. Now, this is great, obviously, because you can minus seven and then he goes into the graveyard. But built into the ability, we can still draw seven cards. Then if we have no cards in our library, we still win the game. Now, we'll never use the ultimate. We never get to that point. We'll pretty much always plus one that it just doesn't matter. We'll, we'll always plus one. We will never get to the ultimate stage. He's usually just kind of standing there, sometimes taking removal, sometimes taking some damage, but he's literally just there for a passive. We could put in a mortal sun in this deck and it would probably be even more effective because we get more card draw, to be honest. Now, the card that will win us the game is Seagate Restoration. This is a seven mana sorcery that draws us cards based on how many cards are in our hand. And since we are running the Reliquary Tower land, which gives us no maximum hand size, and we're drawing a ton of cards from the One Ring and all the other card draw cards that we have, we're going to be able to draw like 20 plus cards and just win that way really, really easily. I would like to take a moment to thank all of the YouTube members and Twitch subs. You all help the channel way more than you think, and there are new rewards coming for those supporters. So if you want to join with all of these amazing people that are scrolling around the screen and get shout outs in every single video, then make sure to hit that join button to get some more details. And if you just want to pop in the stream and say hi, I do stream five days a week every day except Monday and Wednesday over on YouTube, Twitch, and Kick, Strider Stone on all platforms. You'll get notified here. Just hit that bell notification. I would actually recommend building this deck because it was a blast to play. The wins were very explosive. Some of them came out of nowhere. Some people just left in frustration. Probably holes punched through monitors. It was hilarious i really liked it but if you do decide to build it it's gonna cost you 42 rares and five mythics so beware on that you can get the deck list by clicking on that card that pops out at the top right hand corner of this video it'll send you on over to my aether hub page which has every single one of my deck lists both old and new you can actually follow my page over there so you can get updates every single time that's always great but if you want the text-based version that'll be in the description below the best thing you could do for the channel is share the video with somebody who you think would like the videos, but we would always appreciate it if you tap that like button, attack that sub button, stay salty, and enjoy the games. Sure, sure, sure. What are we thinking? I think that's risky. I think that was a risky pullback. But, you know, we have four of them. We have four of them. This is good for us. Because that means... That they have a lot of enter the battlefield effects. And they're not going to be able to do any of them. What's up, David? How you doing? How am I doing today? I'm doing good. I'm actually kind of tired. These new, um... These new meds that they put me on are killing me. They put me on some muscle relaxers, and I've been sleeping great, but geez, it has just been brutal. Pay for it. Dang it.
<laughs> Dang it. I'm always a step ahead. There's always an answer. They're playing the one ring. They have a pile, an actual literal pile. What up, Serdy? How's it going, baby? That's not good. Now we've got a fight on our hands. All right, come on, give me a board wipe. Not a board wipe. Not a board wipe. That'll hurt them a lot. That'll hurt them a lot. Seven damage? Seven damage! Oops. Omega lol. All right, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Yes. What up, Dick Doug? You hate muscle relaxers? They're not... I'm not... I'm not too happy about them right now. No, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Yeah, they're... They're hurting my... All right, all rise. All rise. You got to bait it. You got, you got to bait it. You got to bait it. To 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 bait it. Oh, it's the villain arc, baby. Let's go, baby. Yes. Go ahead. Why don't you mill those? Mill yourself. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh! Oh! So close. So close so close so close man I'll just go ahead and mill that. It's a matter of give and take. We're gonna beat them down with a strict proctor. Is this the proctor beatdown? The proctor beatdown, though. <laughs> you got it. That's 
think this through. Okay. That's a good that's a good card. That's a good card. We definitely needed that. Pokey. There, now you have now you have even more to deal with. Now you have even more to deal with. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? I don't know if level two is gonna do it for you very well. I don't, I don't know if level three is gonna do it. Going to class three times, not going to help you very much. Yes, bring back your angle. Are you going to pay for that? I, do I have any more? Hold on. What else do I have in my hand? Oh, come on. Where is... I need... I need to get the thing! Oh, do I not have any more Seagates? I don't have any more Seagates. Eleven. Okay. So we'll do that. We'll just throw this down. Well, uh, throw that down and so one, two, three, four, five, we have five mana. That means we play this strict proctor and Sure. We keep that. <laughs> yeah. And then and then we just gotta make sure that we have protection. Tefri, there it is. There's Tefri's protection. There it is. There's battlefield. Search your library for an aura god demigod. Reveal it and then put it into your hand. Are you going to pay for those? <laughs> Are you going to pay for that? <laughs> You're going to have to pay six to get that once. <laughs> yeah, nice of you to join us, Stream Elements. No. Nice. <laughs> nice. 
Nice. My problem right now is... If they have a removal spell... As long as it's not an exile. Okay. Because if they had a removal spell, I had brought back for it. Yeah, that was a nice life total. Like, it, it, that was a really close match. We could have won that. Why am I not going to... Do I have no lands in here? How many lands do I have? 25? What am I doing with my life right now? Chat, what is happening? I believe... That I will top deck a Lotus Field. No. I can't. I can't risk it. If I top deck a Lotus Field, I swear to God. I actually are. Uh, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> oh, I discarded it because I didn't have it, and then I drew the and then I drew the brought back. Are you kidding? Oh man, today is going to be a day. Holy. Oh my gosh. All right, I need to. Oh no. I just like, I debated myself so hard two times in a row. Okay, everything's fine. It's fine. We'll come back from this. We can come back from this. Everything is fine. It's a mill deck. We have Jace, right? We have Jace. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, that's the other Lotus Field we wanted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, white, white, resolve, boom, boom, resolve, brought back. All right. Don't kill me. I don't like that at all. Three HP in a dream, baby. And they just flash in another thing and I'm dead. A lot of damage you just took. Says, I get protection from everything. Okay, so I can. Okay, I can just kill that. Okay, good, 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 good. We'll 
make this look easy. Let's think this through. Thing is, I'm kind of dead-ish. I have to do it on my upkeep, because I'm going to take... Interesting. Okay. Fortunately... I won't have to remember this. So. I do this. I draw cards. Boom, 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 boom. Then that. Thank you. Okay, now we're gaining more life. We out here now. 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 More gifted subaroonies. Oh my god, I missed the last one too. Jesus Christ. I missed the last one too. I have lo I've lost it. I've lost everything. My whole life. Charlie! Thank you for the gifted subs. Pontologist, we've got to Pedro and then Charlie. Okay, we're going to full control again. We're going to let that go off. We're going to take one damage. Boom, that's a lot of life. We're going to draw a card for turn. I mean, it would be nice to have something useful right now, to be honest. What up, Charlie? I know Charlie's trying to get the uh, Charlie's trying to get that treasure token. Got to go already, though. Got to get up early. Well, I mean, after this game, it's fine. After this game, you'll get it. Yes! Yes! What a great game! One HP to dream, baby! One HP to dream! Easy! Easiest game of my life! The ribbon was... It was like a foot. And it was, I don't know, maybe 20 foot wide or something. But it, it, was, it ended up being like 20 bucks. So expensive. <gasps> we have the whole combo in our hand. I thought it said, please drug. I did not do that, right? Although they're not really doing anything either. Although I should have also put this down. Dude, what am I doing? I've lost it. I have literally lost it. Aha! All right, we're here. Okay.
Reliquary Tower, great draw. That was terrible. Did you see that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's go, Moist. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, I, I still don't have. Okay, I am gonna shock that in then. I think I have everything I need at this point, but I do want the whole world in my hand. Do what's going on, Moist? Twenty-eight months, baby. Let's go. Really only need one of these to die, right? As long as this have seen that coming. Yeah. Okay, I mean eh. As long as, uh, have we, have we put a, wait, have we put choice of fortunes into the deck? The alchemy card that gives no maximum hand size. I thought about it, but no, I did not put that in. And by I thought about it, I mean, I saw, I saw that card for the first time the other day. And no, I did not put it in. I opted for Seagate Restoration as it works really well with this. Uh, this card, and I have Reliquary Tower, just because it's, it's a land. But, does it also draw a card? It's more than just you have no maximum hand size, right? It actually gives you something else. We're almost there to where we can be just like hella safe. Almost hella safe. Seeks two cards, same if you don't want to shuffle them in your library and then seek two new cards. And it gives you no maximum hand size after that. It's pretty good. I don't remember that. What's up, Dis? How you doing? Is that gonna build a wall? I don't even know what we're talking about right now. It's a matter of giving. We're gonna. We walled it. Trying to wake up. My, yeah, cause I, uh, I had a seizure like two weeks ago, or three weeks ago, or four weeks ago. I don't remember when it was. But it, it's the first seizure I've had in a really, really long time, and um, so I finally got my doctor's appointment, and they put me on. Clindamazepam? Clindam the sh you spray on uh, the pan to to make it oily so it does, doesn't stick on it. Spray Pam, Clindamazepam, that stuff. Put me on that. And it's like... 
killing me. Humiliate. Shame, shame, shame. Shame on you. What is the best one ring deck so far? I have no idea. I haven't seen any, ought to be. I've not seen any yet. That's what I'm trying to... I, I was trying to avoid looking at anyone one ring deck uh, before I did mine. Just draw a card. Just draw a card. Just draw a card. Just draw a card. Don't worry about it. Just draw a card. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. It isn't mine. What's up, Nick? But yeah, so the it's like a muscle relaxer thing. Uh, and it's supposed to help, I guess. But it's it's like it it hurts a little bit. Not hurts, it's just like it makes me really tired. So if they mill this top one, like they usually will the first time, that means they'll guarantee get the second one regardless which is the reliquary tower which i will definitely need right um the lotus field i'm not super worried about i can throw down lotus field and in response tefri's protection if i really want to But, yeah. Oh, they didn't mill the first time, but they milled the second time. Rude. That sucks. That Shadow Spear can get rid of the Indestructible on my one ring, though. I don't know if I appreciate that. Hmm. But yeah, it's going good, Nick. I'm just, uh, yeah, like I guess I'm just a, like a little bit tired. I'm trying to wake up. It's just, what was that? It's like, okay, five lands in a row. You love to see it. Yeah, five lanes in a row. That was brutal. What up, Astros? How's it going, baby? You tried a primal? Oh, you tried primal and card fetching from graveyard? It was too slow. With the one ring? I didn't even know... Wait, what was it? I think this card is busted. I've got them all figured out. Well, 
Do you think they kill my Jace? <gasps> On a scale of one to yes, do you think they kill my Jace? <laughs> Shoutouts to Astrals, by the way, good friend of the stream. Oh. I won't let a few thugs threaten this city. Oh, double. Oh, if they get rid of my Proctor, I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. Oops. That's not good. Yeah, them getting the the mill three lands was dog. Sh I disagree with that. That was the best. That was the best play that the opponent had right there. And there's nothing I can do now. I'm just like, I'm <laughs> dead. What can I say? I'm just a f god. I'm just a f god at everything. What? What? What do you want me to say? Tapping it, adding a burning, burning. <laughs> then what we want to do is we want to make sure. Kind of missed the whole part. So we want to make sure that ivory tower is on. I think I missed a whole paragraph there, but I can't find it. We want to make sure that the ivory tower trigger is in the front and the one ring. We're just going to overdraw our deck as much as possible. Really? Overdraw your deck as much as possible. All we have to do is make sure we have no cards in our library. You know, just Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Come out with videos seven days a week.